Hello guys, the more I use this tool Fi Data, the more fan I become. Just a couple of hours ago, I did an introduction and installation video on Fi Data, and I also showed you how you can build local AI assistants with the help of Fi Data with Great Ease. And we saw that how to install Fi Data and how to build assistant talking to your LLM using OpenAI and a lot of other stuff and I'll drop the link to that video and this GitHub repo in video's description. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a fully local RAG application with the help of Fi Data. Now when we say RAG application, it means Retrieval Augmented Generation application. In other words, what it means is that for example, you have your own data and you want your LLM or OpenAI's LLM to talk to your own data. For that purpose, you need to implement a RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation. So what happens is that whenever you ask some question from your large language model or LLM, you also append your own data as a context to your question and then that LLM provides you answer on the basis of your own data. In order to accomplish that, what happens behind the scene is that you first convert your own data into numerical format or a vector format and those vectors or numerical uh, representation of data get stored as a vector into a vector store or vector database. There are a lot of vector databases available in the market. For example, one vector database is called as a Postgres with PG vector. Postgres is a general purpose relational database whereas when we add an extension pg vector to it it becomes a vector store so in this video we'll also be storing our stuff in that pg vector but you don't have to worry about that much installing it because installation is also quite straightforward and simple and this is the salient feature of this tool that it makes all of these things very simple to install okay now enough theory if you want to know more about Fi Data, as I said earlier, please watch my video, uh, which I'll drop the link in video description to get more oriented. Before I show you the demo of it, let me give you um, a big shout out to this guy, Ashpreet Bedi, who is, let me load it. Okay, so there you go. So he is the brain behind um, this Fi data and he is awesome really he has done a wonderful job with it and i'll soon be also um, asking him to get interviewed on my channel so also stay tuned for it so this is the twitter uh, where is the twitter handle of this Fi data this is a twitter handle of Fi data so you can also visit it there and he also gave a uh, gave a shout out to my previous video so thanks for that anyway enough um, appreciation let's check out how to create a rag pipeline or a rag application with Fi data so let me quickly log into my trusted ubuntu system and then show you there so this is my Ubuntu 22.04 which I already have installed and let's get started. First thing we need to do is to install it and git clone that repo of Fire Data. But even before that, as a good practice, I always update my system. So sudo apt update. That's done. And then go to open Ace website and then set your OpenAI's API key. So you would need to go to platform.openai.com, log in there, create your account, spend $20 and get your OpenAI's API key. I already have done that. Then we need to install Fire Data and stuff. I already have installed both of these Fire Data and OpenAI, so I'm not going to run it again. Now, next step, clone the github repo of Fi data because we would need some files from there so as I, I showed you the github repo earlier just go there grab this url of that repo and simply type git clone https i already have done it so just go to that directory so this is my repo where i'm logged in and these are all the files in the directory which we will be using then of course we need to install all the requirements so simply type here pip install dash r requirement.txt press enter 
and this is going to install all the requirements it is very quick for me because i already have done it let me clear my screen first time when you use it you need to initialize it so fire in it so it is going to initialize it so let's wait for it to be and get initialized that's done awesome now next step let's create some of the resources which will be used and resources means all of these vector databases and all the uh, stuff which we need so it says that network file already exists which because i installed it earlier it is starting the docker container in pg vector and then running it and it has created it awesome okay now um, next thing we need to create the assistant now in order to create the assistant in the same repo there is a file called as assistant.py let me show you so i'm just using va editor to open it in the cookbook pdf assistant.py path press enter now here this line where my cursor is is the um, interested line where if you see i have just given it a path on my local server where in home open to pdfs i have put in my pdfs file because what i'm going to do in this video i'm just going to talk with my own pdf files i have just uploaded one pdf with some oracle documentation and that is what i'll be talking it with but if you want to talk to some pdf or any files on uh, some url for example if you have put them in some aws bucket like in this example just uncomment these purple lines and comment this knowledge base one and you should be good to talk with your remote files but i'm not going to go with that i'm just going to go with my local files so it's already set let me get out of this vi editor and now let's start our assistant just type python cookbook pdf assistant.py press enter it is creating the collection load, loading the knowledge base and this is the name of my file e10897 which is on my local system that is good now i can talk with it so it's an oracle documentation so i'm asking it what is rman it is reading my file and it is going to tell me what is the rman which is totally correct that is good let it print all the stuff and you can see how beautiful the output is this is one thing i really love about this tool that the presentation is simply amazing very very nice and on the left hand side it just gave me the response as how long did it take and the answer is spot on so rag works and just to be transparent let me show you the file which i'm using so this is a file pdf file i'm using which is simply an oracle documentation from 2010 so yep so you can see that i already uh you know still love oracle yep so this is a file i'm using okay now let me ask it one more question about oracle database so i'm just going to ask it what is pmon it's a process monitor process let's see there you go totally spot on amazing stuff so you can see that how easy this tool makes it to talk to your own documents and all you need to do is to install it just the way i have uh, put it in there and then from there you can simply get it installed and talk with your own documents and let me exit from here this control c should do and then you can stop it and delete it by simply saying file stop and this is going to clean up it so amazing stuff beautiful and you can see that how easy it is to get started as i said i'll drop the link to their github repo in video description so that you can also read along i'll also um, paste all of these commands which i have used in my local um, in my blog fahadmeza.com and you can also get it from there if you just want few lines or you can go to files github repo to get all the commands and they have a lot of other cookbooks too by the way you can search it out one thing um, you you might need to do which i forgot to tell you before you start is uh, which i faced the error was that you need to install this library lib pq dash dev because when i ran it first time before making this video i got the error so i had to run this command lib pq dash dev rest is all good try it out let me know how you go if you face any issues or error 
paste them in the comment i'll be happy to answer and if i wouldn't be able to answer i will request the ashpreet the creator of this project to do us a favor and uh, you know if he could help us out but please do share your thoughts and feedback on this project and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching